Welcome, friends, to the first video in my newest series, R.R. Slugger's Time Cruisers Retrospective. I'm your host, R.R. Slugger, and throughout the following videos, we are going to be diving into the history and design of one of LEGO's more maligned and, frankly, forgotten themes. The approach I will be taking with this series is going to be a little bit different than the manner of the Rock Raiders videos. What I mean by this is Rock Raiders already had a pre-installed and active fanbase when I started my channel. Proclaiming praise for those sets sometimes felt a bit like stating the obvious, but with Time Cruisers, this will be an uphill battle to say the least. There is a lot of deep-seated and entrenched disdain for this theme, and it's my goal to finally show Time Cruisers the love I think it deserves. I apologize in advance for my defensive tone, but I adore Time Cruisers, and I want to use this video to help show off the strengths of the theme. Before we dive into all of that, let's start with the basics. Time Cruisers was a theme released in 1996 with a meager four sets in its original wave. The next year saw a second wave released under the modified Time Twisters moniker, bringing the combined total of sets up to seven. We might complain about how LEGO gives up on themes too quickly, but really nothing compares to how short-lived some themes were in the 90s. Throughout this video series, we are going to be looking at all seven of the Time Cruisers and Time Twisters sets. Just a bit of housekeeping first, I know it's confusing to have two slightly different names for certain sets in the series, Time Cruisers and Time Twisters. For the sake of clarity, I want to point out that I'll be using the name Time Cruisers to refer to the entire seven set series, whereas the name Time Twisters will only refer to the three sets released later in 1997. In addition to the sets themselves, there was a slew of promotional items, t-shirts, and even a radio play in Germany. The long-running comic strip is especially of note, as it both preceded and succeeded the sets themselves. The story goes that the writers of the comic were inspired by a fan mock of a time-traveling car, and proceeded to conjure a tale of a young hero who would travel from place to place, exploring many contemporary LEGO themes in the process. In turn, this later inspired the sets that saw release. Before we talk about the sets, however, let's meet the characters who are going to be starring in the Time Cruisers series. Starting with our protagonists, the eponymous Time Cruisers, first up is Timmy Time Warp. With his freckled smile and green t-shirt, Tim joins a fairly exclusive club of minifigures with noses. Dr. Cyber is our next distinguished member, the inventor of time travel himself. While his attire may be somewhat disheveled, he is still rocking a full head of hair despite the grey in his beard. The next two have different names depending on the region, but I am going to go with their German names, as much of the Time Cruiser's lore comes from the German radio plays. Robbie the Robot is an invention of Dr. Cybers, created to help out around the lab. Whether the good doctor was inspired by a previous model, or there are some temporal anachronisms at play here, it's tough to say, but what is evident is the longevity of Robbie's design. Ali is the final Time Cruiser compatriot, an intelligent yet sometimes fearful monkey, joining the team on their adventures. Maybe this goes without saying, yet I rarely see it mentioned online, but Time Cruisers visibly borrows heavily from the Back to the Future movies. Older crazed doctor, young protagonist friend who is the only one who supports his crazy theories, fancy time traveling car, pet dog, pet monkey, you get the idea. Maybe this is another Johnny Thunder, Indiana Jones conundrum, where if LEGO could have bought the Back to the Future license back then, they would have, and we wouldn't have received this awesome original theme as a result. Best not to waste time dwelling on it, uh, let's move on. For the villainous Time Twisters, we have only two named characters. Our primary antagonist is Tony Twister. With his leather jacket and epaulets, his attire is giving me strong Rocky Horror vibes. How sentimental. 
Lastly, his brother Professor Millennium is likely the one responsible for reverse engineering Cyber's time traveling technology, given his PhD and shared interest in facial hair. We'll see these two later when we look at the Time Twisters theme specifically, but I thought we should make acquaintances now before we get too far into the series. Time Cruisers is set in the distant future of 3777, where time travel has been banned by the Ministry of Past and Future. A health crisis forces the Ministry to reconsider their stance and ask Dr. Cyber for help. With Tim, Ali, and Robbie at his side, the team fly off into adventure and beyond. In the next seven episodes, we're going to explore each Time Cruiser set in detail, as well as dispel some of the rumors and myths surrounding the theme. There are also two videos from other creators that I would consider to be required viewing before proceeding to the next episode. These two videos capture so much of what I think makes this series great. I will link them in the description. Make sure you check them out, because there will be a test later. I hope to see you then. Tempest Fugit, I've been your host RR Slugger, and time flies when you're having fun.